Hi, I'm Dilwan Herat. Today I will be discussing the part A of the 2008 uh, level trigonometry question. The question is state and prove the sine rule. P is a point inside the triangle ABC such that PAB equals PBC equals PCA equals 5. Prove that BC over A into cot 5 minus cot A equals AC over B into cot 5 minus cot B equals AB over C into cot 5 minus cot C in the usual notation. Uh, Alright, so first I will uh, be uh, proving the sign rule and then afterwards we can move on to the second part of the question. Okay, as you can see, uh, I've written, written the sign rule uh, up here on the top right corner of the board and uh, now we can uh, begin proving the sign rule. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to uh, prove the sign rule for an acute angle triangle and then we can move on to right angle triangle and an obtuse angle triangle. So I've uh, already drawn an acute angle triangle on the board and uh, I've marked uh, uh, A, B, C angles uh, in this manner and uh, sides A, B, C in the standard way we usually mark. And I've also, also uh, drawn a perpendicular line from A to B, C uh, which is needed uh, pass during uh, when proving the sine rule for an acute angle triangle. So, uh, we can write AD equals C sine B and we can also write AD uh, equals B sine C. So what we've done here is we've written AD uh, by using uh, multiple different variables uh, into different equations. So we can equate the two equations and then we can say C sin B equals B sin C. Therefore by cross multiplying we can say sin B or simple B equals sin C or simple C. This can be equation A. Now if you see, if you draw a perpendicular line from B to uh, AC, uh, we can basically do the same thing we've done here and uh, get the equation in terms of sine sin, uh, C, sine A and uh, simple C and simple A. Uh, it's basically the same thing that happens in both occasions, so you can just write similarly as in A by drawing a perpendicular from from B to AC can prove that sin A over simple A equals sin C over simple C. We can name that equation B. And therefore, from these two equations A and B, we can prove the sine rule for the acute angle triangle because uh, sin C is common to both equations, so automatically, uh, sorry, sin C over C is common to both equations. So automatically sin A over A and sin B over B also become equal to each other. So we can write from A and B sin A over A equals sin B over simple B equals sin C over simple C. So that's it. We prove the sine rule for an acute angle triangle. Alright, now let's prove the sine rule for a right angle triangle. So like we did for an acute for the acute angle triangle, now we'll take side AB and we'll write it uh, using two different equations. So we can say AB equals B sine C. We'll name that equation number three. And we also can say AB uh, simply equals C because it's the AB and uh, it's a side C. Uh, so we know that sine 90 is equal to 1. So at this instance, 
the angle B is 90 degrees. So we can write sin B equals 1. So automatically we can write uh, therefore AB equals C sin B and we can name that equation 4 because uh, C into 1 is C. Uh, so now uh, like we did with the acute angle triangle we can equate the equations 3 and 4 and uh, we can write B sin C equals C sin B therefore sin B over simple B equals sin C over simple C we will name that equation uh, C and uh, then we can write similarly as A that is uh, the equation A we uh, derived uh, when proving the sine of an acute angle triangle by drawing a perpendicular from B to AC we can say sin A over simple A equals sin C over simple C we will name that equation D and then from C and D we can say sin A or simple A equals sin B or simple B equals sin C over simple C and that is the sine root proof for the right angle triangle. Alright, so now finally we will prove the sine root for an obtuse angle triangle. So as you can see I have drawn an obtuse angle triangle here, which is ABC, I mark the sides now, B side, A side and C side. And in addition to the obtuse angle triangle, I have also drawn a small dotted right angle triangle in the side here uh, and I mark this point D. This will be necessary for uh, us to prove the sine root for an obtuse angle triangle. So in this instance, we will take the side AD and form two different equations. You can say AD equals uh, C sin B, sorry, C sin 180 degrees minus B. You can say therefore AD equals C sin B as we know sin 180 minus B is equal to uh, sin B. We can write that equation as equation number 5 and then we can also write AD equals B sin C by considering this as the hypotenuse, this uh, uh, line AC. So that can be equation number 6. Therefore, by equation equating 5 and 6 we can say b sin c equals c sin b therefore sin b over simple b equals sin c over simple c that can be equation e i believe and then like we did for the two triangle triangle we can say similarly as A by drawing a perpendicular from B to AC we can prove that sine A or symbol A equals sin c or simple c and we will name that equation f therefore from e and f we can say that sin 
a or simple a equals sine b or simple b equals sine c or simple c and that is the way you prove sine root and obtuse angle triangle so uh, now since we proved uh, the sine rule for all three uh, uh, different types of, uh, types of triangles now we can move on to the second part of the question all right so now let's move on to the second part of uh, second part of the question uh, this part is actually a little more complicated than the, the first part so uh, the question is p is a point inside the triangle abc such that pab equals bbc equals bca equals pi prove that bc over a into cot pi minus cot a equals ac over b into cot pi minus cot b equals ab over c into cot pi minus cot c so as you can see i have already drawn the triangle with the relevant data so this is point p which is the point inside the triangle and these three angles are, are pi so since uh, we know that this whole angle is a we can mark this angle as a minus 5 and similarly this as c minus 5 and uh, this as b minus 5 uh, and also uh, we know that we know that the addition of all the angles in triangle is 180 degrees uh, which can also be uh, written as pi uh, pi so uh, if you uh, subtract uh, 180 from these two angles uh, you will get that this angle equals pi minus b and similarly this equals pi minus a and this equals pi minus c these are all uh, information that we need to uh, mark on the diagram before doing the question to make it more convenient for us so uh, let us start doing the question so we can say by I have written the sign rule uh, up here so uh, you can use that as a reference as well you can say by considering by applying sine rule to the triangle a p b We can say BP over sine pi equals um, sorry, uh, this is C, this is B, and this is A. We can say it equals C over sine. pi minus b which we all know is uh, sine b in other words therefore we can uh, subject b and we can say bp equals c sine pi over sine b uh, yeah, we can name that as equation 1 uh, I don't have much space on the board, so I'm just going to write it in a corner here. So, uh, because we are, we are going to need to use it later. C sine pi over sine b. So that's equation one. Now we can uh, do something similar with the triangle BPC. If you apply the sine rule to triangle B. B, C. Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, uh, subject site C, P, similarly like we did uh, previously. C, P over sine pi equals A over sine pi minus c therefore by subjecting cp we can say cp equals a sine pi over 
sine c. Uh, that can be equation 2. And uh, then for the same triangle, we can uh, derive another equation. Uh, let's take uh, once again cp for sine 5. And we can take the other side now, which is uh, BP for the triangle BPC. We can say BPC uh, equal to B. Uh, sorry, we can say uh, B uh, CP over sine phi equals BP uh, over sine uh, C minus phi. And now we can uh, write BP over CP D by cross multiplying we can write uh, BP over CP equals uh, sine C minus phi over sine phi this can be the equation number 3 uh, actually I am going to name that equation A Okay, so again, I'm going. I'm going to erase the both. I'm going to write these two equations on this side. We can say CP equals a sine over sine c, and then it is two, and then BP over CP sine c minus I over sine five. That is equation A. Now, if you observe, uh, you can see that equation A over here is BP over CP. So that is equal to 1 divided by 2 because this uh, is BP subject, but then this is CP subject. So then we can say 1 divided by 2 equals A. So that would be uh, C sine pi over sine B equals A sine pi over sine C. equals sine c minus phi over sine phi so then this would mean that uh, sine c goes to the top so it becomes c sine phi into sine c divided by a sine phi into sine b so then the uh, sine phi gets cancelled uh, get cancelled out so then it would be C sine C over uh, A sine B we can equals sine C minus phi over sine phi. And then now we'll uh, take uh, uh, all these three terms c sine c over a uh, onto this side and we'll just leave this side as 1 over sine b and we can equate it to a sine b sorry uh, a sine c minus pi over c sine c sine uh, pi uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, expand expand uh, sine c minus pi. So it's a, a sine a minus b type uh, equation. So sine a minus b equals uh, sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. So this would be a into sine c cos pi minus
cos c sin phi over c sin c uh, sin phi. Uh, I don't have much space, so I'm going to erase this part on top. Now, if you read the question, uh, what we expected to uh, do is find a value for uh, find value with B C over A, and here we have A uh, and C. So, uh, since we need to get uh, B as a denominator as well, uh, sorry, numerator as well, I'm going to be uh, multiplying uh, both sides by B. So then it will be b over sin b equals a b over c and uh, I'm going to write this separately sin c cos pi sin c sin pi minus cos c sin pi over sin c sin phi so then you can see uh, so b, is, b over sin b is uh, uh, in other words sin b over b if you uh, exchange the numerator and denominator uh, is something that we have here in the sin uh, sin root so uh, we need to keep that in mind for uh, future reference uh, so now you can see uh, when you uh, when you simplify this sin c gets cut to sin c and sin phi gets cut to sin phi here so then it becomes b or sin b equals a b or c uh, and in brackets cos phi over sin phi sin phi is uh, cot uh, phi phi uh, minus cot c and we will name this equation equation 1 so that is uh, one of the equations that uh, uh, that is the I equation that we have proved so now if you observe uh, we got b over sin b equals a b over c to cot pi minus cot c then we can write similarly Similarly, we can say if you a over sine a equals can see here uh, b is a numerator and uh, b is on top over here so that means if a is the numerator a has to be on top over here and since we've already used this equation which is a b over c uh, on this instance it should be a c as a numerator so we can say uh, a over sin a equals a c over b into cot phi minus cot b And we can name this 
2. And we can also say that c over sine c equals bc over a into cot phi minus cot a. These two equations can be derived if you take by uh, following the same procedure that uh, that we follow to get this equation. Uh, uh, you will you will be able to derive these equations as well. Uh, you simply have to just apply the sign rule uh, for different types of tri triangles. So we applied it for BBC and APB, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, to get these equations, you just need to apply them to uh, different type of, uh, 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 different uh, types of triangles, and then you can alternate and uh, get these equations. But uh, when do, when doing the question, if you if you just find one of these equations uh, that is enough, after that we can uh, uh, say similarly uh, uh, this and this also uh, get uh, derived by following the same procedure. So uh, so as uh, as we know by the sign rule, b over sine b equals a over sine a equals c over sine c. So uh, we can say one equals 2 equals 3 which means I am going to erase this side since so we don't need it anymore a b over c into cot phi minus cot c cot c equals b sorry ac over b into cot phi i am going to erase this side as well because I'm running out of space over here cot phi minus cot b equals b c over a into cot phi minus cot a and that is it that is what we have been asked to prove and uh, uh, we successfully managed to do that so uh, this is the way uh, uh, you prove this uh, equation using the sign rule uh, so yes, I hope you all uh, learned something by watching this video. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching.